Well, I'd like to introduce the notion of source transformations and then show you how this can be applied to find the Thevenin equivalent of a circuit. We have two possible sources. Sometimes people refer to these as practical sources because they include finite resistance. The idea is that both of these sources can be considered equivalent at the terminals under the appropriate conditions. So the conditions are defined by what's going on at the terminal pair. So I'll use my standard labels for voltage and current. Current passing through R sub S would develop a voltage drop of I times R S. And current flowing through R sub S will be the uh, voltage drop that appears across it divided by R S. Now if we apply KVL on the circuit on the left, we have V equals VS minus I times RS. And on this side, we can write an expression for I by applying Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL. We have IS minus V divided by R sub S. Now I'd like to get these pair of equations into the same form. So let me operate on this one and isolate I. I'm going to move this on the left hand side and put V on the right hand side. And divide through by R sub S. I'll move this equation underneath the one on the right side for easy comparison. We see the I's match up. The minus V over R S matches up, leaving us with this idea that if we want the circuits to be equivalent, then I S is equal to V S divided by R S. We could also write that as V S equals I S times R S. It's kind of handy because it ha actually has the same form as Ohm's law, so it's very, very easy to remember. Now let me show you how these source transformations can actually be used to find the Thevenin equivalent of a circuit. So with this example circuit, I'll begin by noting that I could convert or transform the voltage source form into its current source form. So I'll apply this form of the Ohm's law-like equation and write that as the value Vs divided by Rs. This then becomes in parallel. We can also do that for this voltage source resistor combination. Change this out to 5 divided by 400 ohms. And then, uh, let me go ahead and get the units back there and then drop 400 in parallel with the current source. Now elements that are in par <coughs> parallel, which these four are, can be interchanged at will. So I'll group the current sources together and the resistors together. Notice that these two parallel current sources simply add together and these two parallel resistors can be combined into a single equivalent resistance as well. Do the quick calculation over there and we find a value of 80 ohms. Now I'll go ahead and apply another source transformation taking us from the current source form back to the voltage source form. So we have the product of that current times whatever we're using for RS, which is 80 ohms now. Eighty, go, 80 ohms goes in series now. 
And finally we can combine the 80 and 300 ohm resistors together. And at this point we have found the Thevenin equivalent. It's the simplest possible circuit. Thevenin voltage is 13 volts and the Thevenin resistance is 380 ohms.